Hello, fellow yarn lovers. Welcome to my world of crochet. If you haven't already, do remember to subscribe to my channel and um, give the video a like if you like the content of this video, of course. And yeah, feel free to leave a nice positive comment down below if you have anything positive to say. And, uh, and yeah, um, don't forget to tap the little bell so you get notified whenever I release new videos. Today, this is going to be a hobby unboxing video. And of course, with a good unboxing video, I'm here with my tea, which today is just a reasonably neutral uh, black tea. It's a Ceylon, so not much more to say about it, but you know, we all like our tea, so I have my tea here with me. Um, this Hobby unboxing um, is actually, I received two parcels from Hobby. Um, so I received this one and then I received a large one. So the larger one, I know what is, well actually what's in both, um, but the larger one is long metal pins for when you, for example, block lace or in my case, I'm going to use it to block some of my shawls. Um, and I think it's nice to, for some of the pieces to have these long, longer pins, it's gonna make it easier and I would need uh, likely fewer needles. So it's, it's not a big surprise. Um, I do those say that when I was getting this shipped, I was like, why am I having two, um, two track and trace numbers? Like, um, I thought like, why well, I was getting two emails because it looked like the same track and trace number in the beginning. So I didn't consider the fact that they actually needed to, um, ship two puzzles because obviously these um, metal sticks or metal rods are so long. Um, but well, the longer the better because then you don't have the idea that they are too short. So that's actually a nice long box, <laughs> which contains, big box contains a smaller box. Oh, and even better. Let's see if I can manage. The hobby candy is inside. Thank you, hobby. Of course, I do like those candies. I have a sweet tooth and that's just how it is. It's a pink version of their cherry candies. And there's not much, much to say about this. This is the Knit Pro wire for lace blocking. I'm not going to pull them out of this long, long tube because honestly, it's basically just stainless steel wires it contains six wires in a length of 95 centimeters, which is about 37 and a half inches each. It contains six wires in the length of 50 centimeters, which is 19 and a half inches each. And then six, uh, three flexible wires in the length of 95 centimeters, which is also 37.5 inches each. It contains 20 T pins and a measuring tape. And yeah, it's from the Pro EU, so. I'm going to use these when I've finished my virus shawl, but also when I finish all the shawls to, to be able to block them so that they keep the shape um, once they're finished and wrapped up. So the more interesting is, of course, the yarn. Um, because I was tempted to try more lucky bags. So in this bag, I have two lucky cake bags, like two bags of lucky cakes or mystery cake bags. I'm not really sure. They call them lucky bags. Um, I know many refer to them as mystery bags, but this is two bags. So I should have eight cakes in total. I do not know what cakes they are, but what I do have is I have my, um, I have my tablet next to me. So I'm going to see if I can actually quickly find the cakes on the left side um, to get an idea of what they are. So all of these cakes, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They are discounted um, in a mystery bag, mostly because they're missing a label or the label that they came from with the factory was basically printed wrong. Um, so all the yarn is great quality and it's just a steal of a price because I think I, for these ones I paid like, let me see if I can actually find it. Um, I think I paid like 33 and a half euros per, per cake bag. Um, one moment, well, a bit more than three, like, yeah, 33 and a half euros per bag. Um, and all these cakes usually cost like 20 euros or more each. Like some of the cakes are even like 31, 32 euros. So it's an absolute steal. 
Let's see. We first have the packing label, and in the packing label, there is a free gift from Happy to Me. And I got this knitting gorge. So, like, if I'm ever in doubt of knitting needles or whatever, I can always um, check their size. So, thank you. There's a measuring tape on it as well. So, that's kind of nice. And let's see if we can get them out. Here's one of the lucky bags. There should be one more here. Two lucky bags. And there is also a happy candy, so I'm actually quite happy. So I'm gonna drop this plastic here. So I actually have two candies for one order, just because I'm packed in two bags. So thank you, my sweet tooth. I'm very happy for that. Um, so this tape bag feels like it could be the regular Cotton Kings. Um, I don't know, I can see a little bit through. I have an idea of what one of them is, but we'll see. I'm always excited to see what I got. It's like a mystery of what you win. A win or win gets, basically. And I would absolutely say these are the regular Sultan Cotton Kings. So, and not all of them, because they are different. So this is going to be interesting. The first one, I think, is absolutely adorable. Look at this one. It's basically, let's see if we can get the right lighting on it. It's purple, and then it's red, and then it's pink, and then it's bright pink. It's, this is gorgeous. It's a cotton king. It's absolutely gorgeous. See if I can actually find it even in the site. There's so many options. I'm not sure of the name of this one. Can't. I can't, like... Oh, well, yeah, here it is. This is the Ruby Star. And Ruby Star is the colorway 33. And normally this one is 20 euros. Like, this skein is 100% cotton. It has 800 meters, which equals... Um, I don't know, 8... 100 and some odd, almost 900 yards. Um, they recommend a crochet needle size of two and a half to three and a half millimeters. And it makes gorgeous shawls. And I actually found this, like I do enjoy making shawls. Um, it feels great, it's soft, it's nice. There is not much more to say that, mm, thank you. So that was one. Then I have, this one I know what is because I have one of those already. And this is their Sultan Cotton Kings Fire Opal. And it's colorway 39. And right now I'm making the very shawl of this one. So if you look back to some of my previous videos, which I've posted the last two weeks, you will actually see the very shawl slowly being made out of this exact cotton kit. So I love it. I love these vibrant colors. It's yellow. It goes into orange and then it actually goes into like a more um, So it's more like a bright red until it gets into the full pure red. So it's thank you. So that's another um, 20 euros basically worth of, of cake So I already like have 40 euros of value here for something that I only paid 33 and a half euro for and I still have two cakes to go So it's a steal and here I have one more, which I actually already have. It's also a Cotton King. I actually love this bag a lot. This is a great, great, great lucky bag. This is Sultan Cotton King Amolite. And it's colorway 55, yes. Um, which is basically vibrant orange. Then it's yellow, green, and it goes into a teal color at the outside. See if I can actually get the right color on this to show this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Like, oh my God, all these. Love them, love them. Um, so that's another good 20 euros. And I actually also have one of these already. Love it, love it. And then the last one is actually a pastello. Um, so I'm going to jump back to 
side so I can find the right color for it. So look at this one. Salt and Kings, Cotton Kings Pastello. And the Pastello is also 20 euros. The same specs, so it's 100% cotton, um, 800 meters. All of these um, Cotton Kings, the plain Cotton Kings, they are actually a, th a four stranded, let's see if I can get it here on camera, four stranded um, yarn. So you basically work with all four strands together at the same time. Normally, um, people recommend you can put a bead on um, to make it easier. Actually, I don't. Um, I don't have any issues crocheting with them without a bead, but it's a personal preference. This one, I believe... Oh my god, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this is maybe Pastello Akai. I'd say I would say it's the pastello. So it might be the pastello Akai, but this is this is a nice one. Yeah, it's or it could be or it could be the raspberry. It's it's not super bright in the middle, so it's 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 one or the two. It could be the raspberry as well. On the outside, it's it might appear white, but it's actually very, very bright. Like it's a white with a pink shade. Um it might be the raspberry, because if I look at that kind, that kind looks more muted in the colors. Um, what I suggest is um, comment down below what you think this colorway might be. So that was the first lucky bag, and there is eight euros worth of yarn. So yeah, for 33 and a half euros, what's not to like? And then I have one more. So let's open the second one. And the thing is, sometimes with these cake bags, um, you might actually get two of the same. Um, I won't be unsatisfied if I get four of the same, um, but I will also be quite happy if I get different yarn. Um, again, it's lucky bags. You know, you don't know what you get. The only thing you do know is you get four cakes, and you do know they have a minimum value, um, which is generally a good deal. So. If I fill in these cakes, it's I think it's also the regular sultans. Um, you can kind of fill the shape on them. Um, like like when you fill through the bag, you have a good idea of, of, of what you're actually getting. So I think this is also regular um, sultan cakes. Let's see. Oh yeah, I like this. It's not the same bag. It's not well, some of it is the same, but it's not completely the same bag. So let's see. I need to jump back because I really don't remember the names out of my head. Um, because they have so many. Um, I have here. I just told it before. I can't find it. Here it is. I have one more ruby star. So I had that in the just in the past bag. So now I have. Two, two ruby stars. Nice. Again, that would allow me to either combine them to make a thicker project or just to use both of them to make a larger project. So that's nice. Then this one also contain the amolite, which we just had before. So now I have two amolite cakes plus the one I have on my stash. So I actually have three of them. They're gorgeous. I love them. So I'm most definitely gonna make a shawl out of them. Um, not sure what yet, what pattern, but we'll see. So now the last two kicks in here, what I can see is that they are new. They were not the same that they were in the other bag. So now it comes, I have this one, which is, Red, like oh, I love red. Red is is absolutely one of my favorite colors. Um, ever since as a child until now, I've always liked red and green. Um, but generally, I just like colors in general. I've never been much of a pink girl, but I really like red and I really like green. I don't know why. I think green because it's positive, and red because I don't know. It's maybe it's related to being Danish and and the Danish flag. Um, and yes, I do live in the Netherlands, so um, it sounds crazy, I know, but um, but yeah, um, 
This is called Imperial Garnet. It's colorway 16. Um, and that can make a beautiful project as well. Oh my god, I love this one. So this one is though a little bit dusty, so I wonder if it's somehow under transportation has been damaged or the parcel has been damaged and therefore um, therefore the banderole has been damaged or something like that, even though you can actually see it's been there at some stage. Like if you really look close to it, you can you actually have an idea that that's been sitting something around it. So not sure what happened to this fella. Um, it does look, it does smell clean. So, so I'm not concerned and it doesn't look like it's in, like the yarn itself is damaged, but um, it just looks a little bit dusty actually. I'm not sure if it could be. Anyhow, the last one is one of the Cotton King Shadows. So uh, Cotton King Sultan Shadow and it's absolutely stunning. So look at this one. You can barely see it actually. I can't get the right light for this one. See? Yeah, maybe like this. It's actually, I'm not sure if this goes right on the camera. It's dark, um, it's dark purple. And it goes into an even darker purple until it goes black. And it's such a shame that I can't really get the right light on this maybe. It's difficult. It's really, really difficult. But I absolutely love it. And actually, I, I I, would not say that this is... Oh, I think I picked the wrong ones here. It's not the... That wasn't the shadows. Here we are. I think this is just the one they call black purple. Yeah. It's quite simple name. It's the Sultan Shadow. Black purple, you can find it on the Hobby website. And it's colorway five. Again, just like the rest of the Sultan, um, the Cotton King Sultans, they all 800 meters, 100% cotton. Yay. It's unfortunately not the best lighting for this, but I have to say, oh, I love this color. So it's a real winner. And even, you could actually even consider somehow, if I can get, get it a bit, you can match these. Like you could theoretically match them, but it would be a shame because this is so bright inside. Maybe, I don't know, it's too big of a big of contrast. I love them each on their own. They are unique, great deal. I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's, I'm happy. I'm super, super happy. Um, this is great yarn, um, amazing. And stay tuned, um, lots is gonna happen. Um, I'm progressing and getting closer to finishing the Bolero tutorial. Um, I'm also progressing well on the virus shawl. Uh, to finish that one up because I've promised one of the viewers here to make a tutorial for you guys to make the very shawl as well. Um, I just need to select what yarn I will make it from. Um, though, because I'm already making it from this um, type, I would like suggestions for another skein. It could be any of those I've gotten here, or it could be one from my stash if you have an idea of what I have in my stash. That's that. I'm also slowly progressing a little bit on my um, summer top because I couldn't help not working on it. And I did not have time to record the next step in the tutorial for the Bolero. Um, so at that stage, I actually started a little bit on, on the summer top to make sure I was still actively crocheting. The baby blanket is slowly progressing as well, though I am going on a weekend trip uh, in about two weeks time and I might actually bring that to crochet with in the car because um, it's simply straightforward so so that's actually not a bad idea either. So yeah it's probably gonna take a little bit before that comes. I have a different yarn order in with a different company um, so yeah there's lots of things coming up here in July so stay tuned remember to be subscribed so you can like get notified of the videos oh yeah well you need to 
ring that bell so so you can notify when I do release all these videos. Um, I wish you a great day, happy crocheting, and until we meet again, bye.